Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on, you don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? I'm kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentus. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. We rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <gasps> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. I am Groot. Did you reach Cosmo? <clears throat> it may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. I take a Groot and reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. If I had a unit for every minute of my time you waste with your flarkin' ideas. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. Yes. An oath! 
Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. That's good enough for me. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me to thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kinda understood that. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. 
leader. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Travelers, have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Better pray the new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere oh, really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it.
Let's keep it down. They don't know we're here. says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. Church's forces increased by the tick. Their superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Whoa! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Is that what he said? It's easier to understand Bug Lady. I tried pushing, to no avail. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he leapt from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and just waiting to attack us. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine with him. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Just saying, if anybody stands a chance going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Raker, it's him. And we're gonna need the Grand Unifier out of the way if we want to stop this ritual.
Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could... Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life. Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. You say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Fire Magnati! Good. Gamora, oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church. Just a Bible, Peter. I don't know. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. 
It's about Nikki and what men like Rake her that and a girl like, like her. Like when me, my sister, if I had just been better at protecting that girl, maybe, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his attack in hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... Loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes. Celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quinn. We are! Nope! This car! 
combat is sure to draw the warlock's attention. Just hope the warlock's causing a distraction somewhere. I got all these toys to find, Nickel! Oh! Reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? That seems long enough for a bridge. Unless it crumbles when it falls. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. Really? A Faith Force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. So, Gamora... That's it, Peter! Let's go! We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead! Let's book it! Now is not the time to- <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start! She is the light. And I... Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. you to a perilous precipice, old friend. How? It can't be. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness, before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops. Lead. 
The Moor's commandment number one. Thou shalt act. Toss it. Enjoy this! Make sure you don't fall off! I got chip boots, remember? The Rapsodus will tell tale of our battles here! Is that like a Katafian minstrel? Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump! his face. It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Look out! That's the your worst favorites. Let's not add to our problems. Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump. Did you see Raker's face when he showed up? Too close! I can't wait to see your face! Put him up, Gamora! I'm on it! Perish! Perhaps this will tell tale of our battles here! Oh man! Back on Earth, there was this great song! All you rocket! How many are there? It's like all of nowhere showed up! As long as they're here, they can't go through with them! Whatever they called it! That was not the name! I like it better! You don't stand a chance! A sneak of me! We approach the dog's tower! Then we're almost halfway there! Fifth 
Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh... Right below us. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole! That's one way down. The best way! Look! There's no way! At least our guy seems to be winning. That'll must have been us. Ba 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 boom, baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. This carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Some kind of mega bombs? Rocket! Oh, you gotta be farkin' kidding me. I am Groot. Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn. And the brainwashing cult. And the Magus World Destroyer thing. I don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! <laughs> Whoa! Glad that wasn't rocket. You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. Dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage. Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Get away! Is this being exposed to the promise? No! Let me lock me. These belligerents do not stand a chance! Make your peace! This is an historic battle! The last stand of nowhere! Something tells me we got more scraps ahead! We're barely scratching the big face! Hey! The solution is simple! We must take it up first! The mud better remember us saving his tail here! And the rest of him! Tougher! 
an old machine! Let's beat the machine needs a charge! Let's apply! Shooting that big butt for hours! It is as venerable as it is large! We must break it! What the fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... Take him out. Before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt! Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's Peter Quinn. Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. <sighs> He doesn't see us! He's still in the promise! Cosmo! Where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. And cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just... Loki's for going, and the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead heads, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. <laughs> if by met you mean I saved your bark, then yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. But what about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never! But you have! They're somewhere here on Nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Pyotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fix your eyes. That's it, buddy. You tell him. 
Nowhere is Cosmo home being. His pups, his family, will protect at all costs. Sick him, boy! Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attack and scratch snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. I know it's slow going. Blame the Flarknards who. Root's right. This is a really old mining settlement. Everything was nice and crumbly even before the church shot everything to hell. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. The way the church spreads their faith tech. I fear I will regret this. <laughs> <laughs> 